Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Spartan. Welcome back. Seven days to die. Another episode. Day 115. As the game was loading in, the uh, soothing sounds of 4 a.m. were happening. So let's take our axe to Mr. Piggy. Get rid of that. So there's a little discussion a while back about uh, heat map. The uh, zombie corpses are not in XML file for uh, a heat map, making a heat map. Uh, the animal corpses absolutely are. So make sure you take those things out. Kill an animal, destroy the corpse. So I don't know if you remember or not, uh, one of the first episodes, or the first episode, uh, I encountered that. I had... Wait, oop, I didn't take that rebar out. I had an animal corpse sitting outside the house and I got a screamer on the very first day. Very first one. You know what, we're going to need to take this out too. Hopefully that was not enough to draw some screamers. But what I need to do now, I need to build my way out of here. We'll go over here to the chest. Boy, I'm playing. <laughs> been playing Imperion lately, and I'm still I'm hitting F to do certain things. I uh, will keep all of that. But we are going to need to take a trip back to the base uh, here pretty soon. I need to get some more rebar cooking up. I need to get uh, more cement concrete mix. So I say we go ahead and start the episode out that way. Uh, let's shoot back over to the base. We can safely get over there now that... Uh, We'll take the snowballs back with us, I guess. We'll take, uh, let's do a sort here and kind of see what we have. I'll leave this behind as well. We don't want to keep the animal fat. Looks like we're good everywhere else. Well, another 500 pillars right there. Okay. Should be more than enough pillars to hold us over. Mm, I tell you what, we can leave the gas behind. We won't need that. Well, let's uh, let's refuel this mini bike. Last time I looked, we were down to yeah. Let's see, we're down pretty low. <clears throat> I might need to grab a little bit more gas to bring over here just in case. Though I don't, uh, we're going to leave our wood behind as well. So if we needed to, we could, uh, you know, cut that tree farm down. But I don't think we're going to need any more wood. All right, nice. Well, it's starting to come together now. It's looking more like a proper base. It's not all dry. That did all dry. Son of a gun. That's all right. Messed up there a little bit. Needed to make an opening, have a doorway. But it's starting to uh, starting to come together. Tell you what, we'll do that when we get back. Let's take a look at the map. Zoom out. Jump on and ride. Collide. Oh, there's a mountain man and a tree stump. There's a couple mountain men. Mm. 
Well, they're big, tall guys. Sometimes you find really good stuff in these uh, stumps. Sometimes you can't loot them at all. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Probably need to change the uh, XML file. <laughs> show me where... Uh, show me where my mini bike's located so I don't lose that. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I was thinking for a second I got turned around there. What's that mountain man doing all the way over? Oh, no, that's not a mountain man. He was walking like one. All right, we're going to head back to the base and uh, get ourselves some more rebar. Probably don't need a whole lot more of that, but uh, we are going to need some more concrete. Try to get some more of this iron cooking down for the steel. That's the most important thing. It's getting as much steel as we can uh, to upgrade with. We're, we're very short on that. My guess is it's going to be a very high, very, very high number for the steel to upgrade all that we have to upgrade. Let's double check this again for... Whatever. Decent amount of uh, decent amount of gas there. I'm carrying that bacon and eggs around in my mini bike for a long time now. I don't know how safe it would be to uh, eat. Well, look at that. Let's dump this off, and we'll come back up and get those. All right. So it is. It was almost out. Oh, I left that little bit of clay over there. That's all right. This is out of wood. I'm going to put our snowballs in here. All right, all of our cornbread is done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Come here, Wood. I'm trying to run away. Cement. Not a whole lot, but we do have some extra of that. How much steel are we up to here? 14,438. Ugh, got a long ways to go on that. Mm-hmm. Do have some right here though. It's good. Get this thing going again. Right now. We need let's put this away and then we'll assess what we have. Before we go any further, there's our clay. We can go ahead and cap that back off again as well. Nice, uh, nice little collection there of it. Of course, 15, about uh, 2,000, I guess, with what we have in one of the forges. A little bit more. That ought to uh, provide us a decent amount. Still not enough, but. Uh, Go ahead and take this out of here so we can keep it all together, know what we have. Put our clay in here. We're going to need to get some more clay. We're, uh, we're really short on that. That's, uh, that's one thing. So, uh, cement mix. Well, we have the uh, concrete mix. We have that. Let's put our sand in here. A little bit of sand pool it all together so we can 
assess exactly how much of everything we have, and there's no guesswork. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. I guess we'll take out this. Stick this back in here, like a so. We'll just get this going. So next time we, next time we come back, it'll be uh, ready for us. Sure, there's nothing in here. We have a puffer coat over there. Let's go ahead and get our cornbread out of here. Put it away. We're gonna eat here real quick. Top off. Good, good, good. Hey, you know, we'll probably take this steel shovel with us. That may actually help us uh, prevent using a the auger and some of that snow if we need to dig out a block here or there. Let's go up here and get this ammo real quick and store it away. Might as well get our drink on here too. Oh, look at that. Always come back to some uh, some presents there. Is there anything of worth in here? Not really. Not really. Okay. So, I think we're good over there. Did I have a oh, Mega Crush? You know, we'll take that beer with us. That beer might actually come in handy uh, running around at nighttime like we were with the uh, the big guys. They were uh, tearing us up. And so we're almost out of first aid kits here. We have a ton at the uh, other base. I'll go ahead and take a couple thousand more gas just to be safe. But, uh, let's see, where were we at here? So let's just go ahead and take all of the uh, cement mix that we have, concrete mix. Right there. Make sure there was nothing in here. So I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else we need to uh, gather up. Just wanted to get the forges topped off and going again, but... Let's get out of here before screamers start arriving any moment now. They'll probably be walking up as I'm coming up the uh, ladder here. And well, that's fine. We'll take care of them if they do. But uh, they'll be coming soon. They'll be coming to the heat map when they come. Nice. Well, that didn't take very long. Shoot on back over here and get some pillars in place. Excited to uh, continue working on this build. Don't want to let my days slip away, though. I think our last horde was, what, uh, 112? So we'll do uh, 119. We'll have to go over and prep some base somewhere and, uh, and get that up and going. I think I'm going to do the barbed wire again, except for this time we'll have the zombie spawn from 21 up to 35. I say we just keep on going with it. And uh, I think we just stop by here. And looted that not too long ago. Yes, we did. Drink that little bit of water. I am yet to get anything decent off of the mountain men. I'm sure it's just a matter of 
killing more of them. There's a bear over there. We're going to stay away from him. <clears throat> See, does not look very pleasant. More mountain men. All right. Wow. Not so, look at the auger parts. I just said it too. <clears throat> Not so intimidating during the uh, daytime. Nighttime, they are pretty menacing though. Not gonna lie. They are big and bad and do a lot of damage. Boy, the hunting knives. Guess we can scrap that. I was just gonna kill a few of these on the way back over and see if we get anything of worth, value. You know what? We'll keep that for antibiotic. I think I only have one more over here. Well, I'm able to take these things out in one shot and knock them down and stun them today. I wasn't able to do that uh, last episode. They were tearing me up. Okay. Well. Oh. I don't want to fall off the edge. I'm just going to go hit this tree stump here. Let's take a look at where we're at. So we're long ways away we need to go up oh, that way oh that big guy whoa, whoa. Oh, there's that crunching noise. Someone asked me about that. They're like, do you get the crunching noise when you get on your mini bike? And I absolutely do uh, every time. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, that's something kind of new, maybe Alpha 15 newish. Boy, they really want us to have a hunting knife out here, don't they? All right, there's an airdrop right there. But let's uh, let's get on back over to the base. Might stop if we see another mountain man outside of that. But these tree stumps seem to have a lot of good stuff in them. Always worth uh, stopping and checking out. I found some really good uh, loot in tree tree trunks, tree stumps. Before, just like that, first aid kit. Absolutely take that. There's a car out here. Oh, that's a little road, a little POI road. I wonder what the POI is out here. I'll have to check that out. Hello, Mr. Mountain Man. Hmm. Really have to aim high for those guys. I think we're wearing a leather duster. I mean, we had a 593 on, of course, it's about worn out now, but, uh, all right. Another mountain man over here. Is he coming this way? Yep. Yeah. Whoa, what was that move? That was like something out of the Matrix. It's kind of bleeding now. It's a good thing I picked up that, uh, first aid kit. Son of a gun. Oh, okay, I see. I see where we're at. I just got turned around chasing those mountain men down, but... Up and over. We can take out all of these boulders over here, too. The little boulders. Probably get ourselves a decent amount of uh, stuff. Mm. 
You yeah, will keep the beer on us, and we'll keep a thousand gas on us as well. Well, that's the last bit of uh, cement right there. Take the rebar, the pillars. Do a little sort. Kind of see what we have, what we don't have. All right, well, let's get to work. Enough uh, goofing off. Playtime is over. Didn't make any rebar, but I started thinking about, you know, what we had over here. And uh, I think for right now we're good. You know, we'll, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it good. Close by the base, so if we need to, we just shoot back over there and get some of that going. But I didn't want to waste any of that iron. Iron is pretty precious to us right now. See, I think we're, we're pretty good on the rebar, at least on the outer portion. It'll be a long time before we finish this base, but... Uh, oh, just want to get the, uh, the basic part of it done. Okay. Take that down. Let's break out. I tell you what, instead of the auger, let's use this shovel and uh, get this done. So uh, the little bit of augering that we need to do, or the little bit of digging, uh, we'll save ourselves some trouble with screamers right now if we just use this, uh, this shovel instead. It's going to save us time in the long run, though it may be a little slower here. <clears throat> We're going to have to fight three waves of screamers. Seems to be the number when you use an auger for about five minutes. You get about uh, three screamers. If you take those out quickly, then you you know only have to deal with a 15 or 20 zombies. But Sorry about that. Getting a little text. All right. Sorry about that. Let's uh, pick that up. Don't know why I put that there. Maybe it's a marker for something. Okay, now I need to figure out access. I need to figure out how we're going to access everything. Uh, get from one point to the other. Let's count this out. Something like that. I think that's what we did here too, right? Three, four, five. Give us a nice walkway through there. But we're gonna need more wood. I did not bring any extra with us, but we're gonna need more. We're gonna put down a floor in this place. You know, that's gonna be rebar right there. Let's go ahead and seal this off. We have a way around that now. Do these early morning sessions and I get phone calls and texts, so I apologize uh, ahead of time. If I get any more of those, I'll have to stop the uh, recording for just a moment. Uh, you know, originally I had this. I'm going to leave it open just in case. Uh, originally I had planned something a little different, uh, but I'm going to leave this open because I may make something to go out here. Uh, who knows? You know, who knows where we're going to go with this still? It's, it's all uh, 
still all planning in my mind to how we're gonna do certain things. Top there. Experiencing a little bit of uh, lag here. Right? Just a little slow. Not sure what that's all about. So these are the ones that we want to take out right here. So we are going to need the auger because it's going to take 47 days to take that out with a pickaxe. Go ahead and repair her on up. Yeah, can we make a bedroll out of 10? I forget. 20. Okay. A little concerned that we might uh, eat it. You know, we might die at some point. And respawn somewhere without a mini bike. This is going to be Screamer City here in just a moment. Take out six blocks. That's probably three Screamers. So we're going to have to do it over there too. So maybe we'll say 12 blocks. Hopefully that other side I was smart enough to take that out. these things taken out of the way before I put the pillars. I, I need to have a way to get around from side to side. I want to go ahead and seal off like this area right here with the uh, rebar instead of leaving it open on the outer part. I have a place to run through. Now once I get those pillars installed, you know, we'll be safe. We'll be safe from the uh, nighttime wandering hordes and the mountain men that decided to all pour in here at one time. We'll be safe from all of that. Okay, nice. So we don't have to do this to the other side. I did leave that open. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hopefully in this episode, because uh, the very next step will be putting the pillars in place. So hopefully in this episode we can get all the pillars for this lower section done. And this auger really wants to run away from me. Well, my guess is that any time now the screamers are going to be all up on top of us. Well, let's go ahead and get this uh, nailed off of here. Get this put down in place like it should be. Should be exciting taking on that horde with it up to 35. I've never turned it up that high before, spawn per wave. 
That should be a great challenge. Uh, looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and throw the auger off, get rid of these bodies. Just kind of lying around here. Yeah, there's a little bunny rabbit. A little bunny rabbit. Why are you in my base? Okay, so we can seal this up as well. You know, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, let's see if I pick up this frame. Oh, he's still going to do the same thing. Mr. Bunny Rabbit, you were in my way. Sorry, but that's just how it is. That's how it has to be. You want to be silly, and then I'm going to have to get silly. All right. Not the uh, prettiest looking thing, but it's functional. It'll work. So we're going to have to nail all that off. How are we doing on concrete? Yeah, we're doing all right. Sort here. Okay, let's get this one sealed up over here. Now that we have a way through, we we'll need to leave this open. I just had all that open, I guess you saw. So that I could move uh, from area to area until I decided exactly where I wanted the passageways to be located. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, we'll leave that there in case we need to get out of here. Uh, we're going to need to put some flooring in here. Well, before it's 2100, let me go out here and cut a couple trees down. Just get a little bit of extra wood. Because we're going to need a ton of wood for... Uh, the axe isn't very good either. We're going to need a ton of wood for upgrading all those frames. Just to the first level of wood. I don't need anything fancy. I don't need a, a high level for flooring. Uh, but uh, absolutely going to need more wood than what we have here now. Yeah, we want to cut these trees down around the base anyway. We want anything. We want a nice clear line of sight. said at some point we'll take the auger to these uh, boulders we'll get rid of all of those get us a little bit of extra iron tiny bit of stone Concentrated area with trees. A couple stacks. Um, <laughs> you don't want to venture out too far here. Look at all of these boulders around here. Man, it's just going to be a ton of. Uh, Ton of iron. Get just a couple more and then we should have enough and we'll go down because it's almost 2200. We'll get this thing sealed off so in the very least we don't have to run around like crazy fools with our heads cut off because there are uh, giant mountain men chasing us. But 
but we do need to have an access point because once we seal this in there will be no way to get up uh, it's going to be right here it's going to be our access point most likely I haven't decided that yet though that's something that's still undecided I I thought about putting the access point in the center if we do that we're really going to have to reinforce this outer portion because you know they could come over there to the hatch now hatches aren't a very big concern here on alpha 15 however uh, when alpha 16 comes out uh, they absolutely will be uh, they'll be uh, place that zombies can go towards you know to chase your uh, scent pretty sure that breadcrumbs are getting implemented into 16 maybe I'm wrong about that but I, I thought read something or heard something where that was getting implemented uh, all right so we have 500 pillars let's uh, let's get this floor put in we're probably gonna need some more frames too and before I put the last like finishing touches on uh, the pillars will we'll figure out what we're gonna do for an access point that center part may may turn out to be a plan B uh, you know just in case I don't know for sure yet uh, how I'm gonna handle that We'll figure something out as we uh, as we get this completed. This is the most important part right now, at least for this first stage. So let's see. Probably going to be about four or five stages to the base, and this is the first stage. Uh, second stage is as large as the first stage in my mind, at least. Uh, on we'll see how it works. It sounds good on paper. But I want to kind of lay some things out, figure out what that's going to look like exactly before I invest too much time and uh, resources into it. I want to make sure it is something that's going to work out for us. <clears throat> okay, so flooring's done there. Let's get it all done down here. Oh get this nailed off nice starting to come together wonder if we're going to have any little surprises tonight like we did the other night. It's like it was a, a random horde of mountain men. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. I hadn't seen any mountain men, maybe two. And all of a sudden we get six just at one time. These things are insane at nighttime. They're, uh, they're probably tougher than ferals now that they nerfed the ferals. I haven't looked at the hit points of a... Uh, Mountain Man on Alpha 15, but my guess is that they're at least as tough, if not more tough, than a uh, feral. Oh, there's the horn. I haven't even began putting pillars down, but I gotta get this done first to raise this up a little bit, make it easier to place those pillars. <clears throat> side 
Are we all done? Is that good? All the way around? I hope it is. We can start, uh, let's count that. Looks like I did. I think that was where I ran through when I was running from the mountain men. Well, we're going to run out of, uh, we're going to run out of cement. That's a lot of rebar to upgrade. So, let's get our pillars on here. Make sure, okay, yeah. Oh, you son of a gun, you. You might just be better off looking to the side. Can't afford to be wasting, uh, Wasting these as precious as concrete is for us these days. We'll just do it like that. It's a little slower, but I'm not gonna misplace any. Except for when I get a little lag spike like that. I don't know what that is today. Maybe the old uh, computer needs a restart. It's probably been a week since I've given it one. So far, so good. No screamers, no mountain men. Using that shovel for that tiny little bit of stuff was the trick, because that on top of grinding those blocks out would have probably been just the right amount to start those screamers coming this way. Uh, you know, I do believe that activity in an area uh, generates heat, though it's ever so slight amount of heat. I do believe that the... Uh, that the heat starts kind of generating when you have an activity in the area because there was either some point on here in this let's play or there was some point on the server where I did nothing uh, except for laying down frames and nail gun and here comes screamers and uh, so it made me think you know maybe just your activity is enough to uh, sorry about that folks heard a noise downstairs and I uh, had to check it out I'm here by myself and uh, it sounded like someone was in the house I was thinking well it might not be good I need to uh, run down there and check that out if I hear anything else. It's this headset on is so hard to hear anything outside of myself and this game. Microphone is very powerful though. I'm sure you all hear background noise all the time. I don't have a good filter on it like I should. Uh, maybe as the channel grows... I will uh, invest in some better audio equipment for this. Uh, add a gate, a filter to it, a better compressor. Give you all some better audio quality on my voice and to cut out the background noise. But uh, I guess that's one thing. If I hear a noise, it comes through the mic and I can, uh, I can hear it that way. Don't need any baddies coming up in here while I'm trying to record. Sneaking up behind me. Okay, there we go. Almost done with it. We're going to have to leave one little section out. I'm still just astounded in how this is holding itself up. I, you know, I thought I knew better than that. I didn't know a massive area like this with no supports would uh, would hold itself up. But like I said earlier, it's almost like it's all attached 
uh, whole block to whole block. So we'll leave this one out here. That'll give us a way up. Let's take a look around now that uh, all that is done. Make sure, matter of fact, let me go up top. Make sure we are sealed in 100%. No, we're not. I have not done this one yet. Let's break out the, the, the shovel. I was going to say the auger. <clears throat> All right. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to take that out. I guess I'll go ahead and take it out now. Or forget about it. snow biome. Alright. Well, starting to look a little better. Uh, starting to come together as a... Uh... Boy, I'm so awful right now. I've been playing that Empyreon and float around as you jump on that game not like this one let's see I guess what's our cement looking like we need to get down there and get some upgrading done on all of that rebar I think it's like I want it now so there's no question there let's seal this with a frame Seal it with a kiss. Oh, how did I do that? we'll have enough concrete to get this done and then the next batch of concrete is going to be upgrading the pillars to reinforce so we can there uh, you know then after that upgrade that to steel Pick it up, place it back down, 100%. It must have been when I was running away from those uh, mountain men. <laughs> I must have hit those. I missed a frame there. Here we go. Right. Well, that's done. How much cement are we left with? Decent amount. Decent amount. More than I had imagined I would have uh, at this stage of the game without making more. You know, we really haven't made more. Just a little bit. Uh, we could go back over to our hub city. And certainly over there, uh, we should have plenty of it that could be, uh, could be made. Might have to do that at some point. Might have to get the forges fired up, uh, refilled here at this little base close to us, 
and then shoot over to the uh, to the hub. So in 30 minutes, or well, much less than 30 minutes, about 20 minutes, we were able to complete those earlier tasks we were working on and get all the pillars in place. And now, I didn't expect to make it this far. Here we are. We're going to get these all upgraded, uh, drying. any spots so we're gonna eventually have to dig in right there dig that center portion out I'll have to think about how I'm gonna do that now what we could do now number right here I wish I could set this nail gun to say one stage upgrade two stage so forth and so on so I could just hold out because see right there oh that bothers me when I do that it's gonna make me upgrade them all the two but that's a waste of wood because you know, it's like 20 to upgrade to that. It's only 10 to go to the first level, which is all we need. So I wish there were like a setting on the nail gun where I could flip a switch and just have it only upgrade to one. Then I could just hold down on the button. That's kind of being lazy, but, uh, you know, when you're covering massive, massive areas uh, to upgrade, it would save so much uh, clicking. Oh, I did it again. Oh, I did it again. I'm going to have to uh, axe those up. Soothing sounds of 4 a.m. <laughs> take a little sigh of relief when you hear that sound. Crazy zombies. Okay, I don't know why I had rebar there, but let's replace that. And that's just where I built the wall up. It's hard to see the frames over here with the snow on them like that. I think because I freshly upgraded them, they would be uh, easy to see. Kind of get rid of the snow off of them when I upgrade. Well, I'm very impressed that this does not take supports to hold up. Um, gave me another idea as soon as I saw that I got another idea of something else I could do with this base zoning out here while I'm doing this it's so easy to forget that I'm on here with you all and uh, sort of zone out in what I'm doing of course it is very early in the morning as well it probably has a little something to do with it still trying to uh, wake up yeah, we didn't nail those off we'll do that now 
Okay, so we have two sections left. We're probably not going to finish that before the end of the episode. Yeah, we're making pretty good progress here. It's a little hard to see with this snow right now. Maybe the gamma is turned up too high. You know, I have the gamma turned up so high so that you all could see those nighttime hordes outside. Um... Maybe the gamma's just a bit too high for this white snow and sun's coming out. I think I've upgraded some of these twice, but I'm not slowing down at this point. I'm just, I can always take an axe to it later on. Yeah, there's no need to go up to the second tier of uh, for upgrading because, you know, nothing's ever going to touch this uh, except for my feet. Uh, if, uh, if zombies are down in here, then we have bigger issues than worrying about what, uh, you know, the floor is, what's happening with it. So... level so this is why I went out to get all the uh, extra wood see we're we're good still now but we we've, we've used a couple stacks here and the uh, the upgrade to the flooring I'm surprised, you know, I told you we wouldn't finish this uh, section before the end of the episode, but uh, actually we will. We're, uh, we're real close to finishing it all up, having all the flooring in, all the pillars in, minus one. So next episode, we will... Uh, we'll most likely go back to the base to get the forges all topped off again and then come back here and work on the center section I have to think of something creative uh, between now and then and I can do with that uh, a couple ideas already uh, so this leaves us up uh, a decent amount of cement mix uh, we're still gonna need a punch of pillars and uh, so I have to make more of those and then upgrade all of these to reinforce concrete that's uh, that's quite the doing there too. All right, very good. Well, let's go up top here, take a look at our work for the day. All right. Well, that's what it looks like. Kind of looks like a giant air conditioning vent. But uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging out here, watching me uh, build this crazy contraption. We'll get on to uh, phase two of the build tomorrow's episode and uh, try to get that finished up in one episode if we can. The center part, uh, decide what we're going to do with that. But uh, thank you, take care, and I'll see you next time.